Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. And I'm Gabe. In this episode of Mattressology, we are gonna talk about the differences between box springs and foundations. So let's go. So something that is often overlooked when looking for a new mattress, but is very important is what goes underneath your mattress. Usually it's gonna be the box spring, at least that's been, been for years. Mm -hmm. Why is it important, Gabe? Why is it such an important thing looking for, when you're looking for a new mattress? You know, essentially the foundation for the mattress. Yes. Think about a house, you want a good solid foundation. That's true. Just like in a mattress though, you want a good solid support. That's where the whole support lies, that's where it's gonna give you the actual comfort and responsiveness of what the mattress should be. Yeah, it could, it could. You know, because having the wrong support underneath your mattress, first of all, it can void the warranty if you don't have the right type of foundation, mm -hmm. but it can damage your mattress, but eventually that can also damage your back. So if that's not right, then it's eventually gonna trickle up and affect your back, and like we say, many times is like a mattress is only as good as the weakest link. This is a big chunk of it, you know? And it actually, it goes even below this with that, if we want to get a little bit right, more technical the from the bed frame. Yeah. I've even seen it go even lower than that at the floor. Like we could not figure out what was going on with the customer's mattress and the flooring was off. Yeah. Like and I even seen lower than that. No, I'm just kidding. Hell? No, no, I'm just kidding. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, you could invest big money on a mattress, but if you got, you're using a, an old broken down foundation, it's gonna be, or box spring, it's gonna affect it. Mm -hmm. So now something that also, it's gonna be, it's confused quite a bit and off, an often misphrase is box springs and foundations. Like the default term is like box spring. Right, yeah. But box springs are not as common. Gabe, what is the big differences between the box springs and foundations? Yeah, so really it's a box springs, think about it, it's got springs inside of it. Yep. It's typically now there's just like metal wire Yes. inside of it, right? Whereas foundation is made with wood. Yes, all you know, wood. With all wood. Yeah, and look at, see, like they can look, so we got these three out here. We use it interchangeably with customers though because if we say foundation kind of confuses them. Yeah, right? yeah, box spring is like you know? I said, is like the default term, yeah. but there is actually a difference between yeah. box spring and foundation. So we have three different types. They actually look all the same. Like if you have them under a mattress, visually you cannot tell the difference. Yeah but they're actually very different on the inside. They have a similar function for supporting the mattress, but they're also, but they're gonna perform quite differently. So I put this on the on this side just so you can see how similar they are, but let's turn them around so you guys can actually see the differences on the inside. So I just turn them around and maybe we could get a little bit close up shot. So these are gonna be the three main types. There's actually another fourth type, which we're gonna talk about in a bit. We just didn't have room on the table to show you. But these are gonna be foundations. This is what we consider more of a box spring. And you can see the difference. So like Gabe was saying, box springs, they're gonna have more of this metal with wood on it, which there's a little bit more flex. Foundations now are gonna have all wood with foundations. There's no, there's no springs, there's no metal on the foundations. And you so can see they're constructed a little bit different, you know, with these two foundations and we'll go Go a little bit more into that one. Yes, so let's first talk about box spring. There's two main types of box springs. I'm gonna take these out of the frame for a second and we're gonna bring in another box spring just so you can see the two different types. So bear with me for a second, time out. Okay, so these are the two main types of box springs that you're gonna see. Now, here is the more traditional old school style mm -hmm. box spring. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer view. So these are actually have springs inside. The coils are gonna be much thicker than you're gonna find in a traditional mattress, but it is gonna be a lot thicker. There's more flex with this um, type of box spring. So, but for years, this is like the default, Yeah. you know? And it does what, add some comfort to the mattress. It does, it does. Yeah. I actually do, I do like these types if, you know, everything was a lot more simple and we didn't mm -hmm. have to worry about any adjustable bases or motion. I'd like these. One reason why, back in the day, mattresses, were really thin. You know, they're like, average was like six, seven inches. Not a lot was going on with the, mat with the mattresses. A lot of it was springs and, and cotton. Yeah. You know, some little, little bit of latex, but mostly springs and cotton. And this did offer another element of comfort yeah. to it. Now here is a more of a traditional, or now this is more of a modern day box spring uh, that you're gonna see most. This is like more of a, it's called a semi-flex box spring, which is gonna have more rigid yeah, it doesn't give much like the let's traditional see get a, Let's see if we can get a close-up shot, a little bit closer on here, how you got these little tors torsion bars. So 
This is, this is gonna be a bit more rigid. Now, it has good strength on it, a little bit of flex, but these are actually very strong. Real quick, Gabe, pros and cons with this. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember some years ago, I had a mattress and it was too firm, and I just added a box, an actual box spring before I had the adjustable base. Yeah, back in the day, we used to do these quite a bit. Yeah, and it made my mattress softer. I noticed a big difference. Yes. Maybe a little bit more motion inside yeah. of it too. Yep. So it does add some comfort to it. Does could make a mattress a little bit softer. Yep. But any any cons on this one? I mean, motion again, right? You can add yeah. some motion to it. A little bit more movement. Yeah. Like, for couples. As it wears in places, you may start getting some of that sagginess, right? In the mattress, yep. the mattress may follow it. Yep. You know, so as the mattress, as this, you know, starts wearing down, that's a big thing. Yeah, and also some squeaking too. Like over time, that's true, the squeaking. because you got metal on metal, you know, you're gonna get a little bit more squeaking yeah. on this, which can be very annoying, mm -hmm. you know? Does act like a shock absorber. I do like that where it can re re relieve some of that punishment on, on a mattress. Yeah. Now this one, now the pros and cons on this one, is I mean, one, it's going to give you a good full solid support. That's good. a pro. Yeah, you know it is a good solid support. Yeah, I don't think it's going to break down very fast at all. You know, it's yep. strong. Um, the structure is good. Adds more some breathability, right? Yeah. So it's going to you know not um, same thing with that one. Adds breathability as well. Yeah, very breathable. So it doesn't hold in the moisture. That's the uh, pros. Cons, I would say the wire can bend. I have seen the wire yep. bent and even break on one person and it came out yep. to the... Yeah, that to could the, be very dangerous. Yeah, to their mattress and... Yeah, if one of these wires do break off and gets in there, I've seen it cut people really good. Yeah. So... So, that's a But that's rare. That's, that's rare. Yeah. Yeah, and all, so yeah, you know, Gabe was saying if it bends, I have seen many times, I don't know how, but the wires were bent on, on here and if the wire is bent, it's like you're stepping on it. You might have to like just walk on it and it gets bent somehow mm -hmm. or by moving. And that can actually affect everything else. That, that yeah. will eventually, that will definitely feel, be felt with the mattress. Yep. So that is, that is one of the downsides on it, but it is very strong. One of the cons on this one too is if you're like, it will definitely change the feel of the mattress. If you're, if you're trying the mattress on a platform bed or an adjustable base, it's going to feel totally different. Yeah. So, this is, I mean, if you like a mattress with this, you stay with this, you know? Mm -hmm. But um, these are pricier now. And yeah. a lot of some of oh, these luxury sure. companies, higher end companies, still use old school box springs. And it does, I mean, they're not cheap, yeah. you know? Just know that if you go that route and then eventually you get an adjustable base, your mattress is gonna change and feel. Yes. That's usually, that's usually what happens. But yeah, these are the two box spring types, at least the two main box spring types that we're gonna see. Now let's go to the foundations. Yeah. Show, show you the difference between foundations. Okay, so now we got the foundation. These are the two main types of foundations. And I got this one here just so you can see the differences between them. And foundations are, they're gonna be more common now. Yeah. Uh, more companies are using foundations. So those previous ones were the spot box springs. Yep. Now these are the foundations. Now, not all foundations are created equal. Now this is something that's really what you're trying to communicate when people are just, they call the store, hey, do you have a foundation or a box spring? You know, cause you yeah. could find these really cheap online or other stores, but What's most common is this. This type, you got the, the wooden frame and then you got the cardboard on top. Now, it all really comes down to how many slats you have that mm -hmm. is gonna be supported the mattress. So, so usually they put this cardboard just kinda, it's a firm cardboard that to just fill in the gaps. Yes, Right. yeah, it goes right on top. It's, it's a much cheaper option to do. Well, we found but, some issues with that. But yeah, let's go, let's just show you a little bit closer here so you can just see the slats. So the slats here, this is typical, you know, there's not like an industry standard on how far this lasts, but this is typical, you know, about 10, yeah, about 10 inches. 10, 10, sometimes I've seen up to 14 inches apart, mm -hmm. you know, with s some of the real cheap ones, you know, but the problem with that is over time, this box, this cardboard gets warped over years and then you see the mattress or the yeah, it does that wave. goes like this and then the mattress gets this wavy look to it. Yeah. So this box ring gets weaker and then it starts to get warped and you get that wave, which mm -hmm. obviously is gonna compromise the support of the mattress. For sure. This is more what we do, and this is quite a bit more heavy duty. Again, it looks the same on the outside, but on the inside. Yeah, so that's a wood frame, but look at the slats. At, we don't use any cardboard. Having cardboard too, here's a downside on cardboard, you know? Cardboard over time can squeak too, like, you know? Back in the day when we were doing it like this, we were like, man, why is it squeaking, you yeah. know? Or, or we'll see these ones that, that are squeaking and 
it's the cardboard that ends up squeaking with the wood. Rubbing it. So wood, yeah. yeah, rubbing against the wood. So that's that can also contribute to the squeaking. But now there's no. What we found is removing the cardboard, making the slats a much closer. So right now we have between three, three and a half inch inches on the slats. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, so the, we say if you're doing it just on a platform bed, do it about three inches or less. Mm -hmm. But because there's fabric on top of it, that keeps everything in. So this is going to be a lot more stable. Yeah. You have a good center support going down the middle too. So real quick, let's get another quick close up here on the center support. Having this part on the on the foundation is going to give you a lot more support down because with this even though it's only on a twin size these things could end up bowing over time yeah. too so having this strong center support especially on a queen because queens are much much wider mm -hmm. but you you want something that's going to be nice and solid yeah so that can definitely that this is going to support your mattress really well yeah that way when the person's sleeping right here in the center of the mattress right on yep. like on a king size yep you know it's uh you're you're well supported the whole mattress right it's not feeling like oh man why is it kind of sinking in a little bit yeah you know like you're well supported okay so pros and cons with foundations yeah the pros is going to be is less expensive typically you yeah, know typically less expensive especially, I mean, especially this, this yeah especially that you can, yeah with the pros though on on this one is going to be it's really sturdy yes. you know it's going to last you a long time um, as long as it's constructed right the uh the cons is could be it's not as breathable probably as that still breathable yeah you know but just you know those look at the, how thin those wires are yeah that, i um, think that's i think that's minutia this will give you a better support than the uh you know especially for like foam beds yeah. latex mattresses you know yeah because it's you know a lot closer they don't have the metal grids yep yeah and it's gonna change it's not gonna change the feel let's say you first have a platform mm -hmm. bed and then you change it to a foundation or vice versa or you put it on the floor or you put it on a, an adjustable base it's gonna have the most consistent, consistent. feel. Yeah. So it's not gonna change the feel of the mattress one bit. But yeah, just having more something more stable. There's less motion going with a foundation over you know a typical box spring. But yeah, it is solid. Now this box spring, there's not gonna be a lot of motion on this one. Very minimal. A yeah. little bit, a little bit of flex, you know, but not much. Right. And so, another pro is we do, you know, I mean, being that we make them, right? Yeah. We can uh, make them anywhere from two inches tall. We say to nine inches tall, we can make them th taller, thicker than that, but we can customize as high as it. That's another pro. Yeah, it, right? yeah. We can control the thickness, the height of the foundation if needed. Yeah. One downside though, hard to ship. Can't really ship yeah, it. Yeah, that's a big, that's a big, yeah. <laughs> Big con. But um, the downside on this too is, I mean, compared to with an old school box spring, it is going to be a bit more just no give on there. If you mm -hmm. want something that's more life, then there's no give on this yeah. one. But uh, I'm sure there's other cons that that are out there that someone in the comments are going to going to give us. But yeah, it can squeak a little bit. It's very minimal if you have like a crack in the wood. You know, if you have someone like just walking really hard, it can crack. But with all that center support, it's very unlikely. You know, mm -hmm. so. But um, yeah, termites, I don't know if that's an issue. You know, I've never seen it, but someone, you know, might have termite issue if you have an infestation. But yeah, other than that, yeah. I, I do. So is there one that we recommend over the other? Yeah, I mean, we we recommend this right here. I mean, this is For, that's what we make, right? right? Over in our store, because yes. the reason why is a lot of people are buying adjustable bases now. And if they are testing the mattress on like a box spring, but they want an adjustable base, it's, the mattress is gonna feel different. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that's what, yeah, that's why we tend to go with this way. Yeah, they do perform better, I would say, on a foam mattress, like in a latex or a memory mm -hmm. foam mattress. I really wouldn't go with this one if you have a foam mattress because over time, those grids can dig a little bit more, a little bit more punishment underneath the mattress, which, like I said, eventually can uh, trickle up. You can, mm -hmm. it'll take a toll over time, you know? This one, obviously, I wouldn't go with this one. This one's, you know, it's cheap. And a lot on the market is what you'll find right here. Yes, yeah, it is, it is probably, this is probably definitely the most common. Yeah. You know, because it's an afterthought, you know? Yeah, $50 foundation. Yep. But um, but it is definitely a lot cheaper. And then another option, which we didn't go over this time, is the adjustable base, which is our favorite, mm -hmm. you know? But if you want something, just put on a bed frame. These are great, a great way to go. All right, everybody, I, I really hope this helped you guys as we broke down box rings and foundations. Yeah, if you guys uh, like this video, please like it, subscribe it, share with some friends, um, hit the bell to be alerted for any of our new videos that get, we release, and then 
Um, also, leave a comment. You know, we'd love to hear you, uh, hear from you, um, or give us a phone call. If you're on your shopping journey too, we put together a guide, a little mattress guide that gives you like tips on mattress shopping, mistakes not to make. You can just click on the link below, and or just give us a call. Give us a call at the store, or leave a comment in there if you have any questions. And also, if you're on your mattress shopping journey, I would say the two next videos to watch is, do you even need a box spring? You know, that's a big one. Like you might not even need a box spring or foundation. So click on that one or why your mattress is sagging. So those are the two videos I would, I would probably recommend after watching this. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless, sleep well.